up, people. We are at McKillop's Bridge. Which is this sucker. Don't even know when it was built. When was it built? Over the snowy river. Yeah, when? Not sure when it was built, but... Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna go for a stroll across and then come back. Pretty, uh, pretty slow going getting in. Take your time if you're gonna do that. Oh, that didn't feel good. That was a bit of, bit of wood. But yeah, pretty much snowy river over here. On this side. So I'll find some more history on this. Yeah, we're uh, gonna be camping somewhere down here. We'd be down there, but yeah, the original one was washed away in 1934 downstream somewhere. I don't know where. So I can't, probably down that way, yeah. But I reckon you could pack her after this if you wanted to. It's very cool. She's fine, but it must be bigger than oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it'll get way bigger than that. You got a little island over this side still, so. And there's people over this side as well. Nice. Yeah, there's cars over there, so. You see? Yep, just there to the left. Oh, okay. <sighs> so we might uh, do a bit of a cruise across here shortly. And uh, check it out. So you're going to be on uh, UHF channel 40 down here as well, um, just so you can communicate because it is a one lane road up and down and you don't want to be coming across another car coming down and then you can't get around them. It'd be very dangerous. So there's a sign at the start of the track that says UHF channel 40, make sure you're on it and uh, be safe. All right, so here is a... Uh, board on um, you know so imagine says here imagine you're standing here around 1930 sketching out ideas for the bridging the mighty snowy river so original bridge was in 1931-32 11 days before its opening enormous wall of water swept down the river after a storm in a dead catchment destroying the bridge so bridge dead wiped it out completely there are steel beams that had to be carried into the worksite on a truck. They were welded together to form the bridge spans and lifted into place. In 1935, a new one was opened. In 1971, it survived a flood which reached the same height as the one which was destroyed. So, there you go. Bit of a story. And then, you get people who like to come and vandalize things, so we can't go and read any of the board. Which is great. Just ruined. By people. Not cool. Alright, so down here at the launch for the canoes at McKillis Bridge. I'm standing right here in a snowy river. GoPro's having issues, so I'm back on the old phone again. Uh, yeah, I'll flick this around and I'll show you. So this is the snowy river. Which is very cool. Very fast flowing. And then McKillis Bridge is over here. And you get to see that. So it's about 250 metres tall. And yeah, I just drove across that one. And yeah, it's quite nice down here. So the uh, McKillis Bridge campground, not great. Not great at all. That campground is on a slant the whole time. No good. No good for swags on stretches. You have to level all your tents and everything like that as well, so nah, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, maybe over this side might be a little bit better, but I haven't really checked out the camping on this side. But yeah, if you're interested, come down here, check it out. Probably be great in summer. Um, yeah, hope you liked it. If you like this video, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.